Hi Leo, Shara here. Today we're going to be doing your reading about your love life and see what's going on with that. Make sure that you like and subscribe and hit the bell notification because this Friday, Friday the 15th, September the 15th, around probably like around eight o'clock Eastern Standard Time, um, I'm going to be doing free readings, free one question, one question readings and um, make sure that you're there because I would love to see you. And what else? This is for your sun, moon, rising, and Venus. And if the reading doesn't resonate, then just find another one of my videos that does. Anyway, with that said, let's go ahead and get into it. All right. Let's see what the overall energy for your reading is. Overall energy for the reading of Leo. Okay, so this came up reverse and it's about acceptance. So you're not accepting something. Overall energy is bittersweet. So something that bittersweet, it's like happy, sad, right? It's like, for example, like if a child grows up and you want to see them grow and like do their best. Um, but they're growing up. They're not little anymore. Or if you see somebody who is an ex, you love that person, they're growing, they're having a glow up, right? That's bittersweet because you miss that person, but you're happy to see them doing better. Um, but anyway, there's something that you're not accepting. So let's see. Tell me more about this acceptance reversed. Tell me more about this acceptance reversed. Okay, so it's almost like you're not accepting some kind of offer or not accepting that somebody is really interested in you or like you've put a lot of effort into the situation. You've really like invested. Who is this person? Who is the person on Leo's mind? So they're really indecisive or indecided, undecided about what action to take toward you. And it's like they're very conflicted. Maybe their mind is going different ways. They're doing different things. They have a lot to do. You know, maybe they're just busy in their mind or just in their life in general. Tell me what this two of swords is about. They're indecisive whether they want to, you know, take things into their own hands and start putting real work into this. It's almost like they are testing you to see, to see what you're going to do before they make a decision. How's this person coming toward Leo? Okay, they're not giving you what you genuinely deserve. Okay, justice reverse. Why is the justice reverse here? Because all of a sudden things are unclear or they are not telling the truth about something. They're lying about something. They're not, they're not being clear. How's Leo coming toward this person? Okay, so we've got the Ace of Wands reversed. You're going to leave them out in the cold like it's 
it's almost like there's a false start on something. You're, you're not telling them something. You're not telling you, or you're not telling them that you feel a certain type of way, or you feel like they're not giving you what you deserve. It's like intuitively, you know that you deserve more than what they're giving you. How should Leo come toward this person? How should Leo come toward this person? Yeah, you know, just show them love. You know, be cordial and sweet and kind and nice with this person. You know, this is very childlike energy. Childlike energy is very honest. It's real. You know, children... When they're little, they will say the truth, okay? They'll say the truth, okay? And the overall energy is the Nine of Cups. So, it's like, when you become free, when you become vulnerable, when you become honest, and you're able to just say whatever it is that you're feeling, you're going to have um, value within yourself, um, if you do that, it's that freedom of expression, you know, and you can't have a relationship unless you have that freedom, that freedom to love, that freedom to feel, that freedom to get angry, that freedom to not overly angry, but you know, that freedom of expression of whatever it is that you're feeling, you can feel safe doing that. All right, so what is the blockage here? <sighs> Somebody, I don't know if this is like part of their community or their family is not, they're healing over heartbreak. They're healing over heartbreak. They're healing from something. That's why they can't give you what it is that they want to and it could be a third party as well somebody uh we've got the death reversed and this person is something ended okay something with somebody from the past ended and it's very hard for them it's hard for them to um like celebrate and have fun and genuinely enjoy the present moment, all right? And I think the acceptance reversed is not necessarily about you. I think it is your person not accepting the fact that something in the past is gone, okay? So it's not that they don't care about you or that they don't have feelings for you. It's just that this past energy has put them in a place where they're still mourning and you will have to respect that because everybody takes different time different you know amounts of time to heal not everybody is the same so what's your advice to leo okay take it slow take it easy all right, just, and you also, this is like coming out of a disastrous time or, because look, do you see this water right there? It's like kind of rough water and they're moving into the smoother water. This is, this is what's happening. So you're actually helping this person get through that rough water and you're moving to the smoother water. You're going to be smooth sailing. Tell me more about the Six of Swords. Yeah, this person literally can't let it go. It could have been like unexpected. I know this reading is kind of down, but not every reading is going to be like, you know, happy. This reading, your person's energies are coming up so strong, Leo, in this 
reading that it overpowers yours. But you are a catalyst to this person's healing, to this person's growth, to this person being able to live a halfway mentally decent life, okay? Because I feel like this person is just trapped. They, they are stuck in this, whatever this, if they were in a, in an abusive relationship, they're still healing from it. If they are dealing with somebody from the past that ended abruptly, they are still dealing with it. Okay. And this is your energies right now. You feel like this person's not giving you what you deserve. They know that they're not giving you what you deserve. But this is what you should do. Okay, this is how you're supposed to come toward them. You know, give them that love, that childlike love. Let them be free with you. Let them be safe with you. And this is your advice. You know, helping this person get out of their... This, per, this, this person's... mindset of agony because they might not tell you but they are in agony so anyway that is all that I have for you today Leo that was kind of a uh, you know one of the darker reads but sometimes we have to go through that we have to understand another person in order to move forward so that is love okay that is love it ain't always about the you know the good sex and the good food and the, you know, whatever. It's about being together and willing to do certain things for another person other than ourselves. So that doesn't mean to keep giving beyond, you know, beyond your self-respect. So anyway, guys. I'm going to leave it at that. I will talk to you guys later. Make sure you like, subscribe, share me with your friends, and be there on Friday, I think around 8, 8.30, something like that. I'll keep you guys posted, but the free readings are going to be on Friday, the 15th of September, so make sure that you're there. I love you guys so much, and I will talk to you later. Bye.